Hey, happy 4th of July, everyone. This is one of my favorite days of the year, and little by little, it's becoming one of the most or more sacred days for me, in all honesty. I'm so grateful to call the United States of America my home. I'm grateful to carry the weight of responsibility of being part of the solution to the problems we face. So many people these days want to be a part of the problem, and here we are not in the business of doing that, and you as an individual have so much to contribute in terms of solutions. I, we, us, and I am so grateful, and I hope you are too, that we get to carry that weight of helping solve these problems we face because word to the wise, they will continue to come in droves, and we have to get better and better at tackling them. I'm grateful for the brave men and women who have come before me. Today is a day where I feed gratitude more than just every other day. It's not just another day for me. Before we jump into today's drip, I just want to extend much love to all of you. And may God bless you and this nation of ours that we call home. And may we all strive to be a beacon of brighter light for all of those who stand in need in the midst of all this fog. God bless. God bless this nation. And I'm just grateful. So happy 4th of July. All right, everybody. With it being the 4th, you know I had to do my due diligence in tying America into today's drip somehow. And what better way uh, than to call upon the help of old Abe Lincoln himself. Abraham Lincoln once said, give me six hours to chop down a tree and I will spend the first four sharpening the axe. I love this quote. Better leadership on your end, better productivity on your end becomes a byproduct of taking ample time daily and weekly to fine tune your skills, update your knowledge, beliefs about what is possible and taking time to reflect at a really high level. This type of work is paramount for productivity, for an increase in productivity, increase in growth. The majority out there assume learning ends once you get that degree, once you get that job, once you get that credential that qualifies you. And if we're not careful, we end up falling into that trap along our journey once we hit certain checkpoints in terms of degrees, jobs, credentials, achievements. Look, today is the reminder of all reminders. If you want to increase your personal production capacity, if you want to increase growth forever, if you want to continually become better and better and better, the way to do that is through daily self-care and maintenance. Sharpening the ax must be ritual, not just an activity you do every once in a while. Today's an invite. Sharpen your ax. Here's a list. This is a short list. This is just a starting point, but here's and a reminder, but here's a list of ax sharpening activities. Read a book every day. Get out of your comfort zone by learning something new and broadening your skill set, fine tuning whatever that is every day. Attack a fear you have and start working on it daily. Study something new and get better and better at whatever that is. Learn more and more. Sign up for a race, a competition and start training daily. I know many in my inner circle that have signed up for Spartan races as of late. These aren't, you know, these, these aren't professional athletes going out. These are everyday men and women who I know who are challenging themselves and working towards something meaningful, something that represents much more than just completing a race. So sign up for a race, a competition and start training today. Ask for feedback, get a mentor. Look, this is a short list, a starting point or a reference point, but but you must take time for these things. You cannot afford to be so task-oriented with your goals that you make no time for these types of activities. Introspection is necessary. Learning is necessary. Sharpening your axe, sharpening the axe, you are the axe, is necessary for reaching your best self. This is that Kaizen mindset, right? Constant daily betterment, constant daily improvement. You must cultivate a continuous appetite for learning and growth if you truly want to live life to the fullest and do great, meaningful work. 
Again, the better question today is, what are you doing to sharpen your axe? What are you doing to sharpen your axe? All right, everybody. Again, happy 4th of July. Feed gratitude today. Spend it with loved ones. And make it a great day. Have a great day. We'll see you guys back here again tomorrow. Tomorrow.